And we are going to continue to keep our eye on Debbie as the week progresses. That's right. Meteorologist Evan Stewart has what we can expect here in Hempton Roads as this storm makes its way north. Evan. Yeah, the main thing we're looking at is later this week is the potential for that very heavy rain across the area and especially through the coastal plain of North Carolina already tracking some of those extreme outer rain bands showing up on radar here down along the Albemarle Sound and there have been a couple other showers that have been popping up back north and west of Richmond not associated with some of these outer rain bands from Debbie. But again, we are seeing the potential for some heavy rain already and starting tomorrow areas south of the Albemarle Sound will be under a flood watch because of the potential for heavy rain later this week. You can see these showers and isolated thunderstorms slowly lifting northward. Some of the heaviest of the rain near the mouth of the Alligator River towards Lewis Point and then moving into southern areas of Currituck County and Camden County already seeing some of the a little bit of some more moderate showers as this continues to drift off towards the north. There'll be an isolated shower or a thunderstorm later tonight. Again, the best chances will likely be across North Carolina, but there could be one or two up through Virginia as well. Not looking at a lot of rain tonight, but it will be muggy. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, even at 11 o'clock tonight. So I'm muggy and humid night tonight. Same thing as we start things off tomorrow morning in the mid 70s. And as we go through the day, similar to today, Hot and humid temperatures in the upper 80s. A few more showers and thunderstorms developing during the afternoon and evening. And that's some of the rain from Debbie working its way up the eastern seaboard. Again, best chances will likely be from the south side into northeastern North Carolina. High temperature of 87 degrees. And then notice the showers become a little more numerous. We'll look for more rounds of rain coming in, starting off in the mid 70s on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon into the evening. More showers and thunderstorms, and these rain chances will remain high right through the end of the week with numerous showers and storms Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. So we're looking at several days of rain coming up as we end the week. Finally, the whole pattern starting to break as we head into the weekend with a cold front that will finally push the remnants of Debbie out of Hampton Roads. How much rainfall are we looking at? Well, here's the accumulation according to one of the models. This is the American model over the next several days. This takes us all the way through Sunday. Looking at generally two to four inches of rain with some higher amounts down across North Carolina, especially pushing towards the Outer Banks and towards Hatteras. Those are some of the areas that will pick up some of the heaviest of the rain, and that's why a flood watch is already issued for areas south of the Albemarle Sound. Here's that latest on Debbie, the 2 o'clock advisory. Waiting on the 5 o'clock advisory, it might come in a little bit early. We might have it in the next half hour. But right now, winds are now down to 65 miles per hour ever so slowly moving to the north northeast at seven and it's that slow movement that is the big concern for the low country of georgia and especially south carolina around charleston because a slow moving system will just drop a lot of rain over the next several days in charleston you'll notice really where the storm is going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and eventually leaving by Friday. And that's when some of the heaviest of the rain will spread through North Carolina and into parts of Virginia. So we have a long time to go before we really see some of the remnants of the storm. It won't be until the end of the week and into the weekend here in Hampton Roads. Mostly cloudy on our priority automotive Skyview camera. It's currently 89 degrees, but it feels like 97 with that humidity at 59% in the dew point of 73 degrees, a little bit of a southwest breeze. 85 a Husky, 87 in Williamsburg and West Point, same thing in Hampton. 89 Norfolk and 83 for Manio. Down to 74 tonight, stray shower thunderstorm, especially towards the south and scattered showers and storms tomorrow. 87 degrees, 82 on Wednesday with scattered downpours picking up on Thursday into Friday. That's when we'll be watching the remnants of Debbie. Some of that tropical heat and humidity will be building in as well. Temperatures into the mid 80s for Friday and Saturday before that cold front moves in, finally clearing things out for the second half of the weekend with some morning rain on Sunday, 83 degrees and mostly sunny skies by Monday, 83 as well.